Yo guys, it's me Josh and welcome to an, the first video in a new series on this channel called Let's Talk About which is pretty much what it says on the tin. I'm going to be talking about um, just uh, so things that I have flying through my head. So, I was thinking the other day, right, about snow. Because it had been snowing. And I was just thinking, snow, it's a mysterious thing. Because, like, it's useful, but then it's a bloody pain in the ass as well. So, for example, if it snows lightly, yeah... If it snows lightly, that's good. Well, it's not good because if it snows lightly, it's cold enough for it to set, for it to um, for it to be so cold that you can't do anything. But it's not warm enough for you to. Um, but there's not enough snow. Not warm enough. What am I on about? But there's not enough snow for you to actually like have any fun in it or like do a snowball fight or something. It's just like being a pain in the ass. But then if it's heavy snow then you can at least have a snowball fight or something, whereas light snow is just a pain in the arse. So the snow can be good, the snow can also be a pain in the arse. So, I was thinking, like, surely, surely there must be some sort of way of stopping snow being a pain in the arse. Like, if you just have some, like, uh, like some globe that you, like, put over... That you can just like put over your house or something, or, like your house and your garden when it snows, when it's going to be like light snow, so you keep it warm there or something, so you can just go in the garden and just chill. Like that would be sick. That would be sick. Someone's Elon Musk invent that. Invent that. That would that would be so sick, because then they don't mind the heavy snow, but it's just the the light snow is just a pain in the sodding ass and. It pisses me off. It it pisses me off because I I like going cycling, and uh, when I want to go cycling, sometimes it will be just cold enough so there's a bit of snow, so I can't go cycling because the road's frozen and I'm blooming mean, like right my bike off going on the black ice that's formed on the road. But there won't be enough snow where instead of cycling I can go and have a snowball fight or something, and. Yes, there's bigger things to worry about, but still, this is so annoying. It's so annoying. Like, there must be a, some solution, some solution to the to the snow, the snow dilemma. There must be a solution, really. Oh god, I just spilled water on myself. But anyway, we move, we move. So yeah, and that got me thinking about snow and cycling and that. Like, you could have a bike made of snow. And if you, so if you had a bike made of snow, then you could cycle on it. But I mean, it, it would evaporate, I suppose, when it warms up. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but the point is that snow can be a bit of a nu nuisance. In fact, a bit's probably a bit of an understatement. I'd say an utter nuisance because I think the amount of stuff you can do when it's snowy compared to the amount of stuff you can't do when it's snowing, like, I'd say there's more cons than pros. Like, so let's, let's think of it. Let's think of it. So when it snows heavily, you can have a snowball fight. You can um, play in the snow. You can make a snowman. That's three pros. Let's think of the cons. Yeah, three pros. Let's think of the cons. So, when it's heavily snowing, what can't you do? Well, you can't go for a cycle. You can, because you would slip, you can go for a run, but it'll be freezing your bollocks off. You can, you can't play football because your studs will basically glide across the thing. Um, well, they won't dig into the ground properly. So I suppose you can but then again, you've got the other problem of it being freezing. So how long can you play football for? Also, you're forgetting that there's the big risk of you twisting your ankle. And if you twist your ankle, then you ain't going to play football, whether it's snowing, it's good weather, or anything else. It's going to be a disaster. So, all in all, snow is just a bit of a nuisance. It's an utter nuisance, I tell you. Like, um... 
snow. Snow is like when you get that present that you... When you get a present, and it's a present you like, but it's not the thing you truly want. So, you just end up feeling satisfied, but then you still have that want to do um, something else. Like, you can be satisfied with a bit of heavy snow, because you can still do something with it, but then you're just thinking, oh god, if it wasn't snowing, I could have done like all the other things. And then, it just can interrupt your plan, so snow's good in some cases, but it's just not. It isn't, so... Uh, Personally, I think, to sum it up, snow is just has more, just isn't isn't good enough to warrant being a common thing. Like I'd never live in Russia because in Russia it snows all the time, and there's only so many snowball fights you can have. Let's be honest, and uh, I have bad circulation myself actually. So, can you imagine me living somewhere where it snows a lot? That would be... It, it just wouldn't be feasible at all. So, yeah, snow... Snow's a bit meh, that's what I say. Snow is a bit meh. But anyway, if you guys want to leave your views on snow and whether you think it's good, whether you think I'm chatting dog wank or not <laughs> in the comments below, then... We can have a discussion about it there and see what you guys think of snow and snow's existence and how much of a pain in the arse it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys probably in the next... I suppose you call it an episode, but not really, let's be honest. You can't really call it an episode video of this series. So... Thanks for watching and peace.